Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on the Maybelline New York Icy Glow Eye and Face Palette. And this is what it looks like. And this was a palette that was out around Christmas time. So this was a while ago and I actually had it in stores for like $16.99. I got it for $5 because it was on sale like after Christmas. So that was a good deal rather than paying $16.99, I paid $5. So again, this is what the palette looks like. This is what the back looks like. And honestly, I love this palette. It's pretty good for being a drugstore palette by Maybelline. So my favorite thing out of this whole thing is probably the highlighters, which I used on my face today. That's my whole favorite thing. I wish they made the regular highlighters just like sold separately, not just in this kit. Because I think this is limited edition and I don't think this is going to be something that they're going to sell all the time. And I also used the eyeshadows on my eyes today. I did a darker look. I'm not usually used to doing that. But anyway, I did. So now I just want to show you what the palette looks like. So on the front, it just says Maybelline New York Icy Glow Eye and Face Palette. And then the inside looks like this. So here's how it's all laid out. And then the only downfall is it does not have a mirror. It's just a piece of cardboard. But it does have a really nice magnetic closure, which is really nice because I hate palettes that don't have good magnetic closures and then the back is just nothing. This is made really well, really nice packaging for the money and also a really nice layout. I like how they have all the eyeshadows kind of like grouped together. Um, so I'm going to talk about what's on the back of this packaging. So it says get glowing with this expertly curated palette mix and match 12 eyeshadows and 3 face highlighters to customize your look. Now right here as you can see which is in the palette. These are the prismatic eyeshadows right here. And this is the highlighter. The only other downfall about this is that the colors do not have names. They're just there. So you kind of have to just go with what you think the color might be. There's a lot of like sparkly colors in here as well as like normal matte shades that you can pretty much do any look with. This is definitely a good holiday palette. It would make a good Christmas gift. Just even it would even make a good um, birthday present, whatever. Um, so that's what the back looks like. And the packaging on this is so pretty. Look how sparkly that is. That's so me. I, I love it so much. And I'm going to get on to talking about the eyeshadows now. Because, and the highlighters. So the colors that I used today were this color right here. for the. I put this all over like my brow bone area. And then I used this color right here this taupey color like in the inner corners like and like i don't know if you can see anymore okay how many times am i going to say like in this video just realized how much i was saying that and then i put this blue shade on my lid now it looks almost black i don't know why it's, so, it's actually a very weird blue shade i don't even know what you would even call that so I'm just going to swatch the colors and then the highlight I have this pink one on my bridge of my nose and on my cheeks. So I'll start with this whole thing right here. These don't have color names so you're just going to have to bear with me on that. Um, so this is the first shade. Now these, all these eyeshadows right in here, these are all prismatic. So here's the first shade. And the thing I like about these is that these are very, very, very soft eyeshadows. So here's the first shade. So these have, this color has a lot of flecks of like different types of glitter. Let me see if I turn down my light if you guys can see it better. You guys can kind of see it better. I'll do close-ups like in the video, like pictures, because um, these are kind of not that you can't really see them that much. That's the only thing I will say about this is that these ones you can't really see that well. And also, this is like my third or fourth time using this palette. And I did have issues with it wearing off. So, and that was with an eyeshadow primer. And I use expensive eyeshadow primers. So that's kind of a downfall on this palette. But I liked it so much that I still want to give it a good review because it's just so worth it even though it does wear off in like a few hours. Um, I don't know if that's just a downfall, like I don't know if that's happened to anybody else but it has happened to me. 
So the next color is right next to the one I just watched. And this is a silvery one. Silvery gray almost. Well, she's had names. So here's the one I just watched right here. So this is the new one I just watched. That one you can see a little bit better. And that's like a grayish. Uh, and then this one, I'm going to swatch right now. This looks like a, I don't know what, like a peach. Maybe a nude sparkle. Now these ones are really hard to see. If I had darker skin or tan, you probably would see them better. So here's this one, the nude one. And this one looks like a purple, almost. These are so soft and they blend amazingly. That's also another thing I like about them. So here's the purple one. So maybe just, you know, you can see them better when I turn down my light. So now you can see them much better when I turn down the light. So here's all of those four, I think, shadows. Yeah, and that little, um, thing I just showed you so I'm gonna wipe that off so I can swatch the highlight I have on my face so I definitely think this is definitely worth it I can't believe how soft the shadows are that may be why they wear off so easily because of how soft they are but they feel literally amazing they feel like a Urban Decay eyeshadow those are really soft so here is the pink highlighter this one is so pretty. It's a pink highlighter. And I'll swatch this right here for you. Here's the pink highlighter I have on my face today. And here's what it looks like on my face. Turned up my light and that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I really enjoy it. Let me turn down this and see you guys can see that. Looks much different on my hands than on my face. Just looks more glowy. So the, on to the next part is a little bit darker, so hopefully you guys will be able to see these better. And I will definitely link this in the description box below. So here's the white shade I actually have on, um, on my brow bone, so here's the white shade, which you can definitely see much better than the other shades. So here's the white one, this has like sparkles in it as well. Next to that is another taupey color. This is a matte shade, so this doesn't have any sparkles in it. And if you guys were to feel how soft these are, they literally feel like silk. So here's um, the matte shade. And this is only one swipe. Just look at when I wipe my finger on it. Look how soft they look. Look how, like, they're literally so soft. I wish you guys could feel it. Like, look, look, you can even tell how soft they are just by swatching them. So here's a peach shade. This is, a, this is more of a nude, yeah, this is a nude shade right here. Yes, this one blends in with my skin perfectly. So here's the nude shade, and then next to that is the one I have in my crease, which is a brown taupe right here these shadows are so soft i can't get over it so here's the brown one i was telling you about these are literally amazing how soft they are i just wish i could get them to stay on longer which i'll probably end up figuring that out at some point Okay, so I'm just drying off my hands now. Sorry, my thing is falling. And now I'm going to swatch the highlights. And this is a, I don't know what kind of highlight this is. This is a golden highlight, it looks like. It looks like a golden highlight. But it's gorgeous, just like the other one. It's like a yellowy gold highlight. Let's see if you can, no, that's drowning out. Okay, you can see it better like that. Okay, so on to the other eyeshadows. Just gonna wipe that off. 
wipe my hands off. Now the overall opinion, I think you guys should try and get this because it is an awesome palette. Definitely good for somebody that's just beginning because they're not hard to work with. They're really easy and it's affordable. So, so now onto the dark colors which are right here at the end. So I'm going to start with this sparkly brown shade. I think it has sparkles in it, I'm not sure. Okay, just going to wipe off my hand. Nope, this is very uh, matte and it does not have any shimmer in it, but it's a very dark brown color. The one down from that is a black shade. I think this has sparkles in it. No, it doesn't. It's black. It's a matte black. And here's the black color right next to the brown. And then the next ones are the two blues. So here's the blue that I do not have on. This one's so pretty. The one underneath it I do. So here's that deep, deep blue color. It's so pretty. So here's that blue one right here. And then underneath is the one I have on my eyes right now. Which is right here. It's like a green blue. It just has tons of sparkles in it. So that's why I used it. So here's that color I have in my eyes right there. You can see up close, it does have sparkles in it, and that's what I have on my eye. So, I'm going to take that off, and last but not least, I'm going to swatch the highlight underneath if I can get these cleaned off my hands, because they just made a huge mess. Look at that, it's a huge mess. And once again, sorry if I sound terrible. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's allergies or if I'm sick. Because I don't have all this cold symptoms. And I seriously sound like a man, I feel like. So it stinks, but... Okay, I think I finally got my hands clean enough to swatch this last highlight. And this one is a really shimmery pink rose gold, it looks like. So here is the pink shimmer. So here's the pink shimmer one. And I'm going to swatch all the highlighters right next to each other just because I think it would look nice together. Here are all the three highlighters together. So here are all the three of them together. And then here's what the palette looks like all by itself again. And so that's the final look on these. Um, like I said, I definitely recommend it. It's an awesome palette. It's definitely something any girl would enjoy because I really enjoy it. And it's probably not as expensive as it was, once was. So I definitely recommend going to get it if you're just wanting a new palette. Or if you just want something, you know, to get for a gift for someone. Or you just, you know, want to play around with new makeup. It's definitely worth it. So yeah, that's everything. And if you guys have any questions, I think I answered every, everything everyone might, would want to know. Oh, and there's not much fallout in this either. There's like none. I didn't have a problem with that. So that's good and the blending capabilities are really nice pretty sure i covered everything you guys would want to know and if you want to know anything else about this palette just drop it in the comments and i'll answer as quickly as i possibly can and so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you in my next video bye